This is Bob Payne, Chief Investor Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, the Federal Reserve raised its key policy interest rate by 75 basis points. That's three quarters of 1%. Stocks suffered their worst week since the onset of the pandemic as investors stayed in exodus from all financial assets. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell admitted he was taken aback by the previous week's news of a sharper than expected rise in consumer prices for May and the worsening of inflationary expectations. By week's end, however, the worries shifted from price increases to signs of a slowing economy, exemplified by reports of a weaker than expected retail sales and housing starts for May. The S&P is down 5.79% for the week, its largest one-week drop since the week ended on March 20th, of 2020. The Fed's monetary policy is having an impact not just on financial assets, but it's becoming apparent elsewhere. You know, oil, which has really been at the center of this inflationary spike, was hit with a downdraft this week, dropping 9.2% for the week and closing under $110 a barrel, way below the recent high of 130. Now, it wasn't just oil. Copper, which is a very economically sensitive commodity, fell on the week and is down 18.5% from its high. While you're seeing other commodities like lumber, silver, palladium, natural gas are all rolling over and were much lower on the week. Now, this is exactly what the Fed was hoping to achieve, lower asset prices. But the market is now in a bear market. So U.S. has now officially entered that bear market. And this is the seventh bear market of my career. And the only good thing I can say about bear markets is they have a beginning and they have an end. And all this previous six that I lived through have ended. Now, I don't know when stocks are going to bottom, right? They're extremely oversold. And historically, oversold markets tend to bounce back with above average forward returns. Our last bear market was just two years ago, and it ended in March when only 1% of stocks in the S&P were above their 50-day moving average, one of the most oversold readings in history. Just two and a half months later, 96% of stocks were above their 50-day moving average, and the market had rallied a whopping 50% you know, off the lows. Now we are in one of the worst starts in market history. And today only 2% of the stocks in the index remain above their 50 day moving average. That's the fewest we've seen since that bottom back in March of 2020. Good news, perhaps. Well, when it comes to the market, history often rhymes, doesn't always repeat. Remember, good news isn't needed for a rebound and clarity is costly. Stocks look forward moving most on the gap between expectations and reality. In a note from Bank of America's Global Research Department, they found the average bear market lasts about 289 days, while the average bull lasts as much as 64 months, with an average return of 198%. So they see the next bull market climbing to 6,000 on the S&P. That's a whopping 60% higher than Friday's close. All I can say to that is from their lips to the market god's ears. Hey, my son, Ryan, and I, we have 68 years of combined industry experience of building low-cost, tax-efficient, goal-based portfolios. For your free evaluation, all you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management.